everybody, welcome back to more Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Whoa! Sorry about that, that's the second time it, uh, it's done that. Um, but yeah, last time we left off, we defeated a uh, mugshot, and we got everything except for, like, you know, the time trials. Which I... You know, I'm just I'm gonna show off the time trials once, just so you can see what they are. Because think of the time trials as Crash Bandicoot warped. Uh, as soon as you start a level, there's gonna be a big clock like right here. Where's the ability at? There it is. Oh wow, it does affect um. The ability does affect the, the clock. I'm stuck! Are you serious? But yeah, there's no... There's no, um... There's no, uh, like, right way to do this. Well, let me see. Because Sly technically is faster when he's doing this. Whoa. Ah, uh, well, I failed. But yeah, you pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much what it is. So let's go back to uh, base. I don't remember how you're supposed to beat him. But that's pretty much what the time trials are. Two of doing. Hey, he's playing a uh, PS1. That's the PS1 I have. Where um, you can attach a... Uh, a small TV screen to it and you can you can play it inside of like vehicles and stuff the third member of the fiendish five was the infamous voodoo priestess Ms. Ruby born into a family of mystics other children found her scary teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had a career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Oh man, <clears throat> and I forgot to mention this, um, Sly, Sly Cooper, is the only Cooper left, because like, you know, his mom and dad were alive and stuff, but like, you know, they're, uh, they're dead, they're not here. Sly is the only Cooper left, so unless he, uh, you know, impregnates a certain somebody, uh, he's, he's gonna be the last Cooper. But here we are. This, this stage, this, this entire Miss Ruby Fortress, I despise. I don't like any of these levels because this is when the game gets hard. Because, um, every enemy here, except for the giant mosquito you saw me slap, takes at least, well, except for the giant mosquito and, like, these, like, rat people later on um there are certain enemies in the miss ruby levels that are um that take more than one hit to knock down okay oh i got it and um a lot of the enemies will jump out at you like this guy right here hello a lot of the enemies will jump out at you out of nowhere so you gotta be really careful in Miss Ruby's world. Because I think we're gonna come up on one of the enemies I'm talking about. Ah, oh, okay, let me see. Where is he? Well, where is it? I don't even know if it has a gender. 
If it did, I think it would be a female. But basically, if you couldn't tell by the obvious, you know, swamp, Miss Ruby lives in the bayou. And yeah, okay, here it is. This enemy right here. This enemy takes two hits to take down. Because as soon as you slap it once, um, its body and head detach from each other. Because it's not it's not alive, it's it's a tree. And um both the head and the enemy become you know both I mean both the head and the enemy. Both the head and the body become active and you gotta take them both down. Now first time playing this you're probably like gonna slap it once and then just like walk off because like oh I, I took it down okay I'm good but um because that's what I did every like I slapped it once I ran off and like it, it attacked me out of nowhere and I was like what because um honestly that's very uh very surprising actually oh man and Miss Ruby has a lot of these things where to progress like that key right there I can't grab that key to get the key I'm gonna have to like take out all the candles and there's also these rat men and just like the dogs if I alert at least if I alert one of the rat men all the other rat men will like run to the position where the last one was um taken down so you gotta be real careful here uh, speaking of real careful Okay, there's only one, so... Oh, no, there's the other one. Yeah, and the last bit of clues are here as well. But, um... I'm not gonna focus on them right now. I just wanna... Clear these rat guys out. Because, um... More and more... Will show up. So... It's very, uh... Shit. Oh my god, I thought I alerted him. It's very, um, recommended to take them out first. But that was a pretty good run of, of, uh, what I did. Ah, oh, man. But, yeah, I, I just don't plain. I just plain don't like Miss Ruby's levels. Especially this, uh, one vehicle level where... Actually, no, I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm gonna wait till you all watch me suffer when we get to that level. But, what do we have in here? <gasps> Ah, bless me. <laughs> oh no. Basically now our rolling move, um, it's the exact same move. The only difference, um, let me see, do I have it? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, now if I run into enemies, they'll take damage. Because before, I could run into enemies and, like, they wouldn't take damage. They'll just look at Sly like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Sly's left foot is standing on nothing. Uh, let's try and get through Miss Ruby's levels as fast as we can. Because I honestly do not like her levels. Oh, man. And her boss fight. Oh, my God. Her boss fight is so annoying. Like, I said this before. Um, I said... I didn't say her name because I didn't want to spoil it. But, um, the third boss fight in the game, to me, is the hardest boss fight in the game. Because, yeah, the final boss is hard too, but he's not as hard as, uh, Miss Ruby, in my opinion. Because Miss Ruby's boss fight is, yet again, just like Mugshot's, uh, a gimmick. What am I doing? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. We the lair of the beast, but Miss Ruby's boss fight, Miss Ru everything Miss Ruby is hard. This l area of the game, all the all the swamp levels, everything is pretty much hard for some reason. Because after you after Miss Ruby, after you go to like you know the next hub world, all the next levels, there all the levels after. Like, we get out of the swamp, or... They're very easy. 
And even the boss is easy. And the the boss after Miss Ruby is actually one of my favorite bosses in this game. Because um there's no final level. Cuz there yeah, well, no, I shouldn't say that. There's a final level, but it's not what you think. Um the final level has no hub world or anything. They just throw you straight into it. And the final level is actually the final level is the boss itself. Cuz like the final boss, he's not even hard. He, he's not. The final boss is not hard at all. The only thing about the final boss that is hard is um, when you get to like the final phase of the fight. And you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Because the final boss is not hard. At all. Alright, another thing. You can um, reactivate the checkpoints as many times as you want like the checkpoint that i ran into it activated and like, i could just like run back and forth and activate it again which is pretty strange honestly oh man excuse me excuse me but um oh shit okay you don't have to fight all the enemies here Cause I, I said this already. You take there's no touch damage in this game. There's no touch damage in any any of the slide games, unless like you obviously like you know, run into fire or something, and yeah, you're gonna you're gonna burn. <laughs> you're gonna you're obviously gonna burn. But um, we're actually almost done with this level, cause this level is uh not long. Where is the thing? Got it. All right, here we go. Now feel free to die here, because if you miss a clue, one—if well, you miss a clue, you're gonna die anyway. That was really lucky what I did. Run away! Run away! One more! One more! One more! There it is. Okay, we're good. But keep uh keep swinging your cane. Because uh, these um, candles will actually get in your way. Wow, he's really close to me. Oh shit. <laughs> he's really close to me. Holy crap. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ability. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god, I was about to open this. <laughs> but don't open it. Let, let's go to the safe first. What is that noise outside? Oh, that's my phone. I accidentally clicked the link and it, it sent me to a video. Four, four, four. Ah, what did we get? Wow, Oh yeah, it is. I think uh, I never really understood what he meant because I never used this. Um, it's a passive ability. Uh, but what I think he means is if I see, I'm actually I'm gonna try it out in the next level to see if I'm uh, correct. That if I go to the correct level. But uh, that was a pretty good run of that level. First time doing that, I actually died. Well, not first time. Um, last time when I recorded that, I actually died because um, I missed a clue. And uh, obviously, if the snake runs into you, like Crash Bandicoot logic, uh, you're going to get run down. Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> this is another vehicle level. Fuck this level. Fuck this level. This level is retarded. Okay. We have to light, I think, 50 candles within one minute? One minute, I think? Oh, no. 25 torches. And we can only shoot <coughs> five rounds of fire. And um, if we run out of fire, we need to run over these piranhas to refuel. Now, these piranhas, 
this level would be so much easier if these piranhas would slow down because these piranhas when you get near them they swim so damn fast and they turn immediately like let me see oh my god yeah I I'm probably gonna like fail this a bunch of times well okay I got two yeah this level is pretty pretty difficult honestly and another thing I should mention um oh shit all these vehicles that we're driving um except for the van um none of these vehicles belong to us all these vehicles like the one I'm in right now uh, the little uh, submarine thing all of that stuff do not belong does not belong to us we just like you know we get in we drive and uh yeah I'm actually doing pretty good come here you okay that should be that's good enough okay oh my god there's a bunch of them right here please okay Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, I only hit one. Fuck. See, look. This level is... It would be some... It would be much bearable if... Oh, my God! If these damn piranhas... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pass. Oh, wait, yes, I can. Where? 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 Ah! Woo! Oh my god, and that's it. We passed we passed the level. Holy crap. This level would be so much bearable if the piranhas because the piranhas they immediately turn around in the opposite direction you're coming at and they 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 swim away fast, but you eventually catch up to them. It's just when you're chasing them down, you like run into these bumps that cause your uh your little boat to bounce and when you bounce you lose speed and um at the same time the piranhas turn immediately so it's kind of hard to get them at, as well oh uh, here's another level that's kind of annoying if this is also another level where you need to be uh careful because uh you're gonna see in a couple minutes oh there he is yeah there's ghost in this level and um they infinitely respawn until you destroy uh, the tombstone that is um, projecting the ghost. Let me see. I forgot to activate it. Is there an enemy up ahead? No, there's not. It's, it's going to be the ghost. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me see. I can't activate it because he's talking to me. Ah, let me just keep going. It must be a ghost generator. Like how Bentley uh tries to like scientifically explain it. Oh, Clarence Dupree. Oh, it's, it's the mosquito. Bloodiest, suckiest, enjoys Sunday picnics. Oh, I've never, I've never tried this before. That's pretty cool. I actually want, I want to try it now. I actually want to look at all the enemies and see what uh see what it says. Marcel Woodfist Shambulous Modium Devoted Ecologist. Ecologist. Eco uh. That's pretty uh That's pretty cool. I've never I've never tried that before. Do the ghosts say anything? Yes they do! I, I couldn't read it though. Be careful with the ghost because um even after you destroy their tombstone if there's some ghosts that are still around, um, they'll keep chasing you until they eventually hit you or you you eventually hit them. But the good thing about the ghost is if you get hit by one, um, as soon as you get hit, you go, 
as soon as you get hit, you get uh, invincibility frames. And as soon as you get hit by one, you're going to start glowing red and nothing can harm you. But the other ghosts will still run at you and they'll touch you. But since you're still in like the invinci invincibility state, you will take no damage. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty neat thing. When uh, games, you know, give you invincibility. Because I know there are some games where uh, invincibility is not your friend. Let me use the fast ability to make this faster. Because honestly, this takes very long. Okay. Oh man. Well, so far, so far so good. I'm actually doing very well compared to uh, when I recorded this last time. Oh shit. I'm actually doing pretty well. Alright, let's keep going. Oh yeah, um... What, look out for clues hiding in the bushes. Because there's, I think, a couple clues that are... What the hell? Why did you do that? There are a couple clues, like this one. And there's a couple clues that they'll hide in the bushes like this. So you gotta you gotta look out for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is wrong with my camera stick? I'm I'm not enjoying the fact that my camera stick is like bugging out on me. I wonder what these ghosts are. They to me they look like uh To me they look like cats. Like, like, ghost cats. That's how they look like to me. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> the sound effect. <laughs> oh, man. You can actually skip this level. Okay, I didn't grab it. God damn it. Oh, thank God I hit the water. I would have hit the ground, I would have been so mad. Cause then I would have had the ran all the way back up here. But um You can actually skip like the part I'm at right now. Oh There you suck my blood. You can actually skip the part that I'm doing right now. Because you can jump over that tree over there where I where the clue was next to. I have no shoehorns. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any. Come on. Okay, now here they are. I always miss like at least one in the stage. Wow, we're doing very good. Holy crap. One, two, eight. What do we get? These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production. Oh, we got this. I'll pipe this information into your binocular. Use it to find breakables and clues in your box. You're probably wondering, like, um, the blueprints, uh, and the guards shift thingy. They're not well. No, the guard shifting is. The blueprints don't belong to the Devious Raccooners. So, like, what's the point in getting them? Um, Sly adds them to the Devious Raccooners because after you beat the game, um, Bentley says like, "Oh man, we may have like beaten like the final boss and stuff, but we're still missing pages from the Devious Raccooners." So basically, that's basically telling you like, "Oh, you beat the game, but now you gotta go back and like open all the vaults and stuff." So before we end this part, let's open up the next area. that breath <laughs> what is this snakes deal could have simply ate me and uh, you know decides to leave me alone but that is all for this part so I will see you all next time until then bye bye